I feel that rural settings generally have multiple problems. One among them is poverty and that is related to health-seeking behavior. And because of that low health-seeking behavior, which is so prevalent in places like rural Bihar, rural North India, that is why the health indicators are actually sliding in a wrong way. And so whatever we can do to bring the AI, whatever we can do to bring uh, technology to the grassroots, to places where people are not aware, do not have the resources, do not feel that it is important for them, I think we are helping them and helping their families. So we can play our part in this part of the district, in this part of Bihar. We are a private institution, but we are holding hands with the government for a common cause. So a little bit of uh, strengthening of this bond where we have a common goal between public sector health services, private sector players, identifying a common need. TB is one of our greatest enemies. And if we are able to catch TB, and if we are able to treat TB, and by doing so, if we are able to create uh, a community that is free of TB, an India that is free of TB, I think we are contributing to national progress. Most healthcare settings make it a point to have masked health personnel now, that is compulsory. But why not we start just x-raying people who also come to the hospital. If there's any patch, if there's any sore throat, if there are symptoms or no symptoms, mass screening may help us to identify respiratory problems. And if their respiratory problems take adequate care so that they can be isolated and in that way we can help the families and be more alert. First we ask for symptoms sensitive to be closest like chronic fever not responding to usual antibiotics or antipyretics. Second, patients uh, history of expectoration which are sometimes blood tinged or weight loss, loss of appetite, evening rise of temperature, chest pain which may be a different type like during the coughing patient they feel heaviness in the chest. <laughs> पहले जो है ना बीमारी था ना उस टीवी का तो 6 महीना दवाई खाए थे उस वो दवाई कोई असर नहीं किया उसके बाद दूसरा ताकत का दवाई लिए अपने हम धड़कन चालू हो गया हां जैसे चलते हैं ना बाथरूम धूम जाते हैं सांस फेंकने लगता बहुत तेज यहां सही लगा अच्छा लगे और सब लोग आते हैं देख देख के जाते हैं डॉक्टर भी आते हैं the QXR platform provides us a free access to identifying TB easily. The unique part of the software at a short notice, we are able to pull up information of all TB patients that have been diagnosed within six months, within one year, and we can easily track them because the information is right in front of us. When uh, the Samrit partnership came to us, we were informed that this is a good tool for a diagnosis of tuberculosis and we live in an endemic place, so we were, in, we were thrilled with the prospect. मैं इस बीमारी का शिकार हुआ था उसके पहले मैं 10 वर्ष पहले से तंबाकू खाता था एक बैग हमको खांसी आने लगा खांसी आने से ब्लीडिंग शुरू हो गया सबसे बड़ी बात यह है कि इसका असर शरीर में जमा रहता है यह इसका असर 5 10 वर्ष में नहीं होता है लेकिन असर होते जाता है और शरीर के आंतरिक अंग को एक कमजोर करता है लेकिन इस बीमारी का अटैक होने के बाद हमारी इच्छा हुई तो कुछ दिन के लिए हमने छोड़ दिया परसों तरसों का पोजीशन ये था एक लाइन बोलने में पांच बार खांसी तो इधर ब्लीडिंग और खांसी में कमी आई है और साफ भाषा में तो खांसी आराम होना दिस केक्सर टूल इज वेरी हेल्पफुल 
screening tool as far as alerting clinicians are concerned. We need AI system everywhere but more in rural areas and in today's technology and uh, electronic era, uh, we don't find any difficulty in expanding these tools to rural areas also because data is very easily and very economically available in every part of India. Artificial intelligence is helping to have faster screening in a lesser time and to uh, have detailed report on those selected or marked as abnormal. This will avoid false negative cases and this AI system can be used in anywhere like uh, radiology, other laboratory systems. If I feel that I am responsible for the health of my nation, that will make me more responsible and an institution that has more responsibility towards the community. And that's the way I think we need to function. The great value of uh, the QXR platform and through this grant has been we are able to, yes, diagnose in a way that we did not do before, but we actually embark in a journey that is aided by AI. Now that's something new for us.